Hello, it's Jang here with a look at the combination possibilities of the new Harry Potter Hogwarts Clock Tower set with the other structures that have been made available or that were produced last season with the, the initial reboot of the LEGO Hogwarts structure line. So for right now, I've just connected the clock tower assembly without changing anything to it to the great hall over here on the side and then also the hogwarts castle structure portion of the whomping willow set here now i placed the the clock tower here because as far as i've seen this is roughly the best place to attach it but lego suggests something different so this is their main recommendation and you know what i approve I just like the visual balance that this creates, putting the Whomping Willow and the, the entrance archway there in, in the center and then having the two larger tower sections on the sides. You know, it just, it feels good and it gives you this huge space in the middle to play around with and to, to put figures in there and to have students going back and forth between the different structures. However you put them together, I feel like this really shows how LEGO has created a new sort of system for themselves with a nice continuity of the textures and and the styling of how the different structures are built not everything is perfectly to scale and definitely if you look around the back the placements of the different offices and rooms and things do not match up with the cano canonical positions but then again they also moved things around in the movies themselves and things in the movies did not necessarily agree with what was covered in the books so i think creative license is more of a requirement than an option here's how the same arrangement looks around the back so you can see some of the interior detailing and this starts to get actually kind of exciting when you see that you're creating the entire castle grounds you know there's still a lot more to be done yet but you know lego is going to continue to release more of these sets that fit in with this system and it's just going to get better and better. There are just so many, so many different places to go. And you can really start to imagine much larger scenarios, you know, going across multiple sets than are suggested by any of the specific, you know, small rooms and, and individual settings in any individual build. I mean, look at all of this together and just think of this as a play set. You know, this is, this is pretty proper. There's a lot that you can do here. It is expensive when you start adding multiple sets together, but just the possibilities just open up so much. I can only imagine what this is gonna look like when we get even more of these structures. Now, talking about possibilities, I wanna get into a little bit more of proper customization because ultimately we're just connecting walls together with Technic pins and there are some Technic axle pins distributed through these as well but within each individual set you will find different sections different segments that can themselves be taken apart so this is all part of the Whomping Willow set right here and it has its own segments that can be taken apart this office can be pulled apart this central entranceway can be pulled apart now you can rearrange these if i want to put this office over here i can if i want to attach the clock tower segment from over here from the clock tower build at a different angle i can take out this yule ball little little angled portion right here which just gives us a 90 degree angle between these technic bricks sorry i was in the way and these technic bricks over here now this will attach just flat just straight on. If I want to put the archway here, if I want to go ahead and put this back on this side, that can attach that way. And now this can go straight on here. You know, you can build everything straight across. You can create angles where you want. You can really customize. Consider this modification of Lego's own suggested layout. What I've done here is try to simulate some, some substitutions. So leave this in its normal canonical place but think of this as either the viaduct or the small stone bridge think of this as the library building and these two spires represent the viaduct entrance towers so you could just think that the viaduct comes straight across here and there are so many other different ways that things can be connected you can really start to 
create the plan however you want it to be based on the segments that you have. And you know, this is its own thing, this is its own thing, this is its own thing, that's its own, this is its own. So many things can come apart. You can really use your imagination here if you want to create something new or to try to get as close as reasonably possible without rebuilding anything to the way things should be in the particular movie that you're thinking about because of course they did change the arrangement of and positions of buildings from movie to movie. Ultimately Lego is making a bunch of interconnectable modules and it's up to us to decide which way to put them together to make us feel most satisfied. I hope this was an interesting video for you and gives you some good ideas. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.